Hi, I'm Dr. Rian Waller, an Associate Professor of Marine Sciences at the School of Marine Sciences, University of Maine, and I'm usually based down at the Darling Marine Center. But as you can see behind me, I'm not at the Darling Marine Center right now. I'm actually at the Sven Lovin Center for Marine Research and Infrastructure, which is in Chano in Sweden, uh, on the west coast, uh, northwest, really close to the border with Norway. And I'm actually here for a year on a fellowship. Uh, I'm here to work with some collaborators, uh, looking at the larval biology of a cold water coral that lives in the fjords right behind us. These fjords are about 660 feet deep uh, and have some very cold water in them and uh, actually house deep water and cold water corals. And this is where I'm going to be based for the year. Uh, today it's snowing. They don't get a lot of snow down here, so this is pretty unusual. It's about an inch or so on the ground. So the ocean is right here. This is the fjord. Uh, this is one of the small research vessels. The big research vessel is out today in the snow. Uh, and across the way, that island is the island of Salto, uh, and that's actually part of the Costa Havits National Park, and so that's uh, where we're doing some of the work for this project. So here we are inside the cold room. It's a bit loud in here because of all the pumps, uh, and here we can kind of see behind me. These are all our cold water corals and tanks. It's a deep sea corals. So they usually occur at about 500 to 1,000 meters. Uh, they occur at about 100 meters uh, here in the fjords in Sweden and Norway. Over the last few days, we've actually had quite a number of spawnings. It's actually quite early in the morning right now uh, because we have been up uh, a lot of the night uh, collecting larvae and uh, putting them into uh, little dishes. So here are the dishes down here. So these are the Lophelia corals um, and all those little specks you can see are the eggs. What we're going to do with these larvae is look at how they respond to climate change. So we're going to put them through warming scenarios uh, and put them through uh, some salinity scenarios too, put them in slightly fresher water because here in the fjords one of the concerns is extra runoff. Uh, so I'll be here for, for one year working on this on this project.